All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. This weekend, it is the big one, the biggest FUT Champions event of all time. We're in Berlin. This is my hotel room, not alone, either. Hello. She's here, Good Ali. Time. Oh, she'll be, yeah, that's correct, the language. She's getting adapted already. She's going to have a German for us. Auf Wiedersehen. This is the big one. This is the grand final of FUT Champions, okay? We've got hashtag Tass competing here. Over 100,000, I think it's either 120 or 160,000 dollars, the jackpot. It's a lot of money either way, right? Hashtag Tass could theoretically win it. Even if he doesn't, the event's going to be crazy because there's some quality FIFA players here. I'm obviously working here again at the event, commentating, presenting, what, what not. But I'm also going to take you guys along with me. The city of Berlin looks lovely. The weather is great. I've got a fantastic view of some people working in their office over there. So I'll let you know what they get up to. If they get any interesting uh, documents in, I'll let you know. Um, but this is the rest of the view from our room. And basically, it's just pretty decent, guys. It's actually a little bit of underbar, you might say. Um, I want to check out the Berlin Wall Memorial at some point. I think that's pretty, supposed to be quite a decent, impressive monument, obviously. Uh, there's a few other things in town I would like to go to. Not been to Berlin before. I'm a big fan of Germany. Been to Germany a lot, but not Berlin. So ticking that off the list. But ultimately, we want to see if Tass can take home the bacon. Is that a phrase? Take home the bacon? Yeah. yeah. Bring home the bacon. I want him to bring home all the bacon, bacon and take home all the turkey, right? And win some big moolah. But it's not about the money, it's about the reputation. I want Hashtag United to be the biggest FIFA esports team in the history of FIFA esports. It could happen. Is it going to happen? I think it will. Let's find out. Do it for us, Tass. No pressure. <laughs> We have arrived at the location for the grand final. It's the Adidas football base, or the base. Let's go. Luis Suarez, Lionel Messi, Paul Pogba, Jimmy Conrad. Oh, mate, this is actually decent. Look at this. Mate, we've got to have some, uh, some football tennis. Football tennis in there, Jimmy, isn't it? Is that an octagon? Is that what they do with the Adidas UFC wrestling? Oh, they've got all sorts in here. All sorts in here. This place has got everything. Well, he, just, he just mugged you off in German, mate. Oh, did I tell you where you got to kick it? Oh my gosh. Is there an English version? Show us what you got, the commissioner. Less said about that, the better. That's why he commissions virtual football. Decent. Oh, hello, he's found his rhythm now. Go on. Uh, slightly different setup this time. The whole thing's AstroTurf because we're actually on a football pitch. We've overtaken their, I think it's their five aside pitch. You can see the goal there. The FIFA's going to be playing. It looks like the commentary's going to be there. It's going to be decent. So here we are entering the main dome. One big difference you may notice from the other events is this, which I think is a really cool touch. Can you see those faces there? Well, actually, there's some right behind me here. You see them? They're not the faces of James Rodriguez and Anthony Martial and Eden Hazard like I've been at other events. They're the faces of the finalists here in Berlin, which I think is better because it's about making stars of these guys. They are the main event, right? Not some footballers that aren't even here. The actual guys. I like that touch a lot. Um, we've just done some interviews, some walking, talking interviews with Rafifa, who one of the Brazilian guys who won the America's Season 1 Regional, and uh, with Mr. Dunn who qualified out of the um, rest of the world regional in season one. So both really nice guys, interesting backstories and stuff, of course. And uh, the draw is happening whilst we're about to rehearse. Annoyingly, we're gonna miss the draw again, but I've got hashtag Harry and Alex over there. Hopefully we're gonna film some stuff for you. Hopefully Tess doesn't get a group of death. Could be interesting. Right, I've got our own little area this time, me and Chu. Like a little, it's actually a pitch, it's like a tiny little pitch. It's the side of the main area, which is over there. There's football going on back there. It won't be like this tomorrow, obviously. Food's just arrived. Take a look at this pastrami sandwich. Chu, it is very red, isn't it? It's, uh, uh, it's disturbingly red. <laughs> Let's have a look. No, you do not need to adjust your iPhones. That is the colour of the bread. Red bread. Chu, taste test. Oh, I'm not supposed to, I'm trying not to eat the bread, but... Uh. Is it decent? The stuff is actually decent. Decent? Yeah. Excellent. Right guys, nearly the end of the day now. We've got together for some dinner. It's the calm before the storm. Tomorrow, the first day of a two day event begins. Someone next to me here will not be competing. <laughs> but he's here for moral support for the other person next to him. I've been taught some fashion advice. I'm going to grill me right now. And you've got two, two pairs of sunglasses. Talk us through that. 
Um, basically. The day for the evening? I'll go with that. <laughs> Tass. What's up, mate? How you feeling? Calm. I'm feeling confident for him. You're confident always for her? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say too much because on paper I have got a sort of favourable group, you could say, but me and Harry know like yeah. on the day anything can happen. So. You don't I need to repeat Paris. Exactly. You want to avoid one of those bloody four, 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 four groups you had. Like at the end of the day, I'm one of the best in the world, but everyone here is better than me at the minute. So. Technically, yeah. So you can't underestimate anyone. Someone else who's better than you as well, Alex. Chu, what are you looking forward to tomorrow? I think North America will take the whole thing, so I'm looking forward to that. What? <laughs> I'm a big proponent of North American soccer, oh, as they call it. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it'll be nice to see. I think uh, there's like a top five. Somebody's coughing over here. I would say it's between Tash, Tasari, Rocky, um, who do you have to do? Contipe and Gorilla. Gorilla. Yeah. I think I think Sihan's gonna win the PS4. Hey, sorry, Sihan. See, yeah. we, we could have a repeat of the no handshake gate. Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, food's arrived. Cheers. So you've got a burger um, and a, what, did ta, what did Tass order? I've got a cheeseburger with cheese. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Tass ordered a cheeseburger without the cheese, so a burger basically, yeah? yeah. And gone. What? What's all that about? It's ketchup, mate, isn't it? Doesn't like it. Doesn't smell it. <laughs> you guys have literally not left the house before, have they? Ketchup made out of ketchup. Born and ready wig, mate. Right guys, today is day one of the big tournament. Alex is here repping hashtag. I'm obviously going to be doing some commentary work and analysis and all that good stuff. Tass is playing. We've seen his group now, obviously. We know all about it. But he's got to do the bits now. He's got to get the results, get the games. We believe in him. Everyone behind us is getting in position. It is game time. Boys practicing. Yeah. Game we day. Really died. We nearly died. Your Uber crashed. Yeah, we Our died. Uber crashed. We had to walk the rest of the way oh, here. Oh, it was on my side. Did they actually come into your. Truck? Luckily not. I was like, I was like, yeah. You make, Everyone, you make, make duck you friend. That. You should have claimed, should have taken details. You should have claimed that. I know. We didn't even say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tess is getting some last minute practice in. We've got just under 18 minutes until we go live. I'm excited, are you? Confident. You're confident, yeah. Confident for Tess and also just excited to see what goes down. This is big. We've got Rafifa here who won in Miami. We've got this guy, I think he won in Whistler. And you've got, of course, hashtag Tess who won in Paris. Look at that. How are you feeling? The issue is I don't feel nervous, which I think is a bad thing. Okay, so you need the in adrenaline Paris, I pumping. There was like butterflies and stuff. Okay. And could be a good thing. Could be. Basically, like I've got You got butterflies, yeah. have you? Oh, he, he's taking them for you. Oh, oh, that's nice. There you go. He's gonna take them away from you, and then you're just gonna just like concentrate good team, on winning. Mate. Good coach. Yeah. Bye, guys. Good luck. You got this, Tess. This is where Chew and Spence it. We'll stand. You ready? I'm ready. Tess, ready. He's ready. I've said goodbye to him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in the stands. Yeah, is Harry with him? Though? Yeah, he's Harry's with him. Alright, so you're going to support, get some footage for us? Yeah. Let's do it, come Let's on. do this. Six, five, four, three. <laughs> Welcome to the greatest FIFA tournament of all time. Africans are struggling right now. <laughs> I am African and it's, it's just not going well, so that's how hot it is. First lot of group stages are done. This man here, Tass, has won his group. So he's going through first, which is fantastic. So he's done everything he can do at this stage, put himself in a very good position. He's already secured himself some more prize money, of course, but we're not thinking about that. We're thinking about the big picture. Harry and Tass, what are you saying? 
Man, I don't, always confident. He's always confident, but I'm not gonna lie, in the fashion I drew the first game, I was extremely worried. Extremely, but I'd say I still have a couple gears to go. I'm not playing too good, um, even though I'm doing well. I've st I can get better, which is a good thing. I'm always harsh on myself, to be fair, but the point was to get out the group in whatever uh, fashion possible I am top. So we'll see what happens. Mate. Smashed it, mate. Well done. Yes. Well done. Come on. Spencer just told me a, an interesting fact, actually. So out of the group stages, only two of the regional winners came through, oh. and, and you're playing yeah, only playing each other. Uh, <laughs> Time for Tess's game against Rafifa. I like, can see him in the background. We've got the hashtag it. Here we go. Let's do this. So, as you've just seen, Tass won his first. Look at this, by the way. Oh, his first upper bracket game, which means that he is one win away from securing a place in London, FIWC, where they're going to get $200,000. So, theoretically, when he wins this and when he wins that, $360,000. It's not bad, is it, Elf? Not bad at all. So, who's he playing next? Um, he's playing Rocky next, who I think is the second best person on Xbox. I hate playing him. And they, they played each other twice in Paris. Tass actually won both, but he was both very close games. One win off. How are we feeling? How are we feeling about the opponent? I'm getting flashbacks. About the opponent. Right, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks. Um, all I can think of is one word. I keep saying it. One word, sorry. And that's war. That's what me and Rocky had. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for a trilogy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> number three. I mean, if he wins, I'm still winning two one technically. Yeah. Then match in Paris is all good. Let's hope it's the same entertainment for the viewers, but. The same result. Oh, no extra time, please. I can't take it. Come on. Okay, we're starting. Taff versus Rocky. Let's do this. played his game against Rocky, which obviously was a repeat of the Paris one, but Tass beat him twice. In my opinion, like I've always said, probably the two best players overall this year, including, including like consistency over all the events. I'm not sure you're going to take it seriously, it might look a bit from a biased perspective, but I think if Tass had that Stonewall penalty, it's a whole different game. Like, Because when you go behind against Tass, you can't do anything. You, you, you just can't do anything. It went a bit wrong. I think Tass deserved the win, but the main thing he needs to do is just pick himself up because he's easily got the ability to beat Marlo. Then he's got all that FWC, and then he goes from there with no pressure. And in my opinion, he can win it easily. It was tight. Honestly, it could have gone either way. It's just like there was these one or two chances. Yeah. That I haven't done anything anybody had taken it's them, the, no, it would he, just changed the whole. He needs to get that penalty. Game, penalty. Out um, I think he hit the crossbar as well right yeah. after. Yeah. You know. Um, so I think it was just unlucky, but I think it's a good chance of coming back. He's got what, Marlott? I think he could beat Marlott. Yeah. And then oh, I, I, back. I think, I think Tass will probably game, get right? to the divisional final still. I just think that he might have to, he has to win two, doesn't he? So that's where it gets tricky. Yeah. For example, if he's playing Gorilla or Shells, he might beat him once, he's got to beat him twice. Hmm. But it's doable, it's definitely doable. If anyone can do it, Tass can do it. I Jimmy's believe in Tass. Yeah, we all believe in him. Tass is class. Tass is class. <laughs> my American accent. <laughs> Tass is class. Right guys, here's the situation. Tass has dropped down into the lower bracket, so the next game is huge. If he wins it, he's still got a chance of winning it overall, and he gets qualification into the FIWC in August. However, if he loses it, he's out of the competition. So this next game is huge. Let's see how he does. You still did incredibly well, but you can't win them all. Lost for words, disappointed. Um, I feel hard done by, but I guess that's life. Sometimes life doesn't always give you what you deserve, maybe. On this occasion, I did feel hard done by, but 
players are unreal, so a little margins. Yeah. I was on a roll. It's been stopped. I have to restart, I guess. Get him next time. Well, guys, it's the end of a long day here uh, at the Fat Champions in Berlin. Tass, unfortunately, as you guys know, didn't go the distance, but he did well, didn't he, guys? Didn't he? Dash, you did well. I know you don't feel like you don't feel like you did well right now, but you did us proud, mate. Well done. You got further than that mug, did? Got further than this mug. But anyway, we go again, boys. We go again. This is just chapter one. You guys can be in the dynasty it's of a marathon, FIFA Esports. Exactly. You don't learn when you win. That's it. You either win or you learn. And we're learning stuff all the time in the moment. We just, <laughs> we just, <laughs> we're learning quite a bit. What know. we want to do, we want to represent Hashtag as much as possible at every, at every event. So what yeah, he's doing, he, he's took a hit. It's like, come on, right, I'll go FIWC Regional, yeah. I'll breeze through that and win FIWC. Exactly. So you're guaranteeing me that one of you is going to win FIWC, yeah? Uh, easy. Uh, <laughs> he says easy. There's a difference in personalities right there. <laughs> Listen, it's been a good run. Fuck Champs is over for now, but now we go to FIWC. We've got Harry, we've got Tass, and Ivan have also qualified for the regionals for that. So, we've got a good chance of at least one of you getting to the final, I think. Like, hopefully, we'll, we'll do it. Hopefully, all three of you can. Yeah, maybe Alex's 100%, 0% uh, ratio as manager needs to. I tried to my shop. best, but maybe I should hang up my boots. You know who's got a great ratio hang as manager? Up my Seb. 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 Seb was Bring here from Seb the Paris back. event. Bring Seb back. He was invited. He was, he yeah. come. Just and had, what excuse did he have? Too busy no, having, having a baby. Pathetic, nah. pathetic, selfish. selfish. Nah. Selfish. What's more important, a baby or a Rocky Pass Possibly. trilogy? <laughs> Rocky trilogy. That's like the film. Yeah. Rocky and oh, 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 You've got to get. Well, no, you've no, got to get. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll have a rematch with Rocky and get your own back on him in the future, mate. Mm. I think. I it mean, it's happen. still two on to me. Technically. True, true, true. Basically, true. Let's have some thoughts from a non-hashtagger. Oh yeah. A friend, friend of non biased opinion. What yeah, do you think, mate? And Jimmy as well. Um, what do I think about what? About Tass. Like this guy. I mean, dude, they, dude, they were they were coming after him, man. I mean, they wanted revenge from season one. Seriously, all of them like, especially when they put it to the corner. You know what that was about, right? Like off camera, it was like Tass is this and Tass is that. <laughs> I'm gonna take I mean, Tass down. What did you think when the Marlow actually said he wanted to play you? Did you hear that? Damn. I did hear that. Yeah, that was, yeah. that was before the Rocky game. Yeah. Um. I mean, to be honest, he's getting asked the question, who do you want, Rocky or Tass? I mean, yeah. it's sort of like, you might as well flip a coin, but... So he's stuck between a Rocky and a hard place, you could say. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I thought it was quite a baller move from Milo, to be honest, I'm not going to lie, and he was just like, I'll take that. I wanted revenge. Fair play to him. Do you want him to win now, because then you can say you lost to the winner? No. Oh, who do you want to win? Uh, gorilla? I mean, it's not about who's who I want to win, it's a fact, Gorilla or Rocky have won. Really? Pick one. Heard it here first. <laughs> Heard it here first. Gorilla or Rocky for the win. Gorilla. He's saying Gorilla. Yeah, I think it could be Gorilla's event, you know. I think Shells. Ooh. Well, I think I'd love one of the British boys to win. I want Gorilla, I think Shells. Gorilla is obviously ledge. We know how good he is. But I think Shells would be the better story, personally. Because he's he, just come he's out of nowhere. He's shown. I think he's had one game on stream for like two <laughs> regionals. And he's never lost. He's lost one that he went out with. And he didn't even get shown once. But we've got to start highlighting Shells and Marla as well. He's not had much game time. He's Should been... we sign him? <laughs> we? <laughs> it's your choice, is it? Thinks he runs the show. He's the manager I mean, now. And the most popular. <laughs> Imagine. Listen, guys, tomorrow we have the, I guess, the, the grand final of the grand final. And we're going to find out who's won it. But this year's not over. We've still got the FIWC. And being a hashtag, obviously, we want to win. We're, we're competitive guys, we want to win. But it's about more than that. It's about being the right vibe, the right and kind of guys. the correct way. Yeah, exactly. And Tash did, did get beat, and he hasn't lost many times this year. Well, but I'm proud way. of the way you lost. You took it on the chin. You, 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 put, it, look, you put a bit of blame on Do yourself. Do you know what my comparison would be? Even though I'm nowhere near like this guy. Nowhere near. But Roger Federer, the way he handles a loss. Yeah. yeah. Just by, I'm not saying I'm anything like yeah, him. No, but the way he similar. handles a loss, I mean, if you I pick someone to handle a loss, it's him. Hashtag going to be around for a long time. We're going to be winning things. Sometimes we won't win things. But what we can tell you is we'll always be here. We'll be giving it our all. And we'll never forget to hashtag it. <laughs> Come on. Welcome back to another day here in Berlin. It is the final day of the final. In about, I don't know, three, four hours, we are going to have crowned the ultimate champion of FUT champions. I'm just walking through the backstage a bit now, making my way to the stage. I'm actually launching the show, introducing the show with Jimmy today. Should be quite fun. And yeah, we will know who has won. $160,000. That's not small change. That's a decent bit of moolah. 
Obviously, it's not going to be Taff this time or any of the hashtag boys, but that's fine. We're learning, we're on a new journey. But whoever wins it is going to be buzzing. Uh oh, black screen, power cut. What to do? So awkward. The trophy is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the little touches. First of all, you obviously got that banner. And look at this. I rate that. I rate that. I rate that. Beat the Germans at penalties. Wow. 80 grand for Big. shells. I know. We should be called in. Pretty overwhelmed right now. Oh, well shells. Really. Emotional. Oh. Who knew Assassin's Creed was also good at people? <laughs> so the first game of the Xbox Finals has been played, and Spencer from England, Gorilla, obviously as you know him, just beat Rocky, which means he's got one chance. So. That loser bracket up bracket thing is now irrelevant. It's a one game playoff between Gorilla and Rocky. The winner gets to the grand final against fellow UK competitor Shells on the PS4. It's gonna be a big one. Brit is out. I am shocked. I'm not shocked, Alex. I don't know. High as hell, nothing in it. Just Two wasn't unbelievable his, players. Wasn't his I did day. say before the tournament, bar myself if I pick myself. Yeah. I said Gorilla, or Rocky, or Dax. One of them three will win. One of them has. has a chance. So, Fuck Champions is over for FIFA 17, guys. What a ride it's been. And as usual, whenever we do these little away trips for these events, we try and play a bit of football. So, we've got myself, Harry. Alex isn't going to play, but you're going to help film it, hopefully. Yeah. Whenever you get to film the football, Alex can change that today. And, um, yeah, we're going to play with Jimmy and Chew Boy and a load of the players and stuff. And then some of you guys, maybe, because I put a tweet out. So, we'll see who turns up. But um, this is always a nice way to unwind at the end of a long two-day event this time. So, decent, decent, decent. Where do you get your dress sense from? Because it's impeccable. And I've had the glasses. Oi, I'm matching the shorts. <laughs> Who even buys pink shorts? Stylish people from Wigan, mate. <laughs> <laughs>
Boys on three. One, two, three. Hooray! Just finished the last pickup game of the Fat Champion Series, and I'm glad to report to you, my team won. Yes, actually, hashtag Harry got the winning goal on the next goal wins. It's a very tight match. Um, probably enjoyed it. As you can see, I'm sweating like a horse in a pony factory. Um, decent turnout as well. Very decent turnout from the lads. Right, we're done. We're going to have a bit of a wind down, maybe a little after party. But Fat Champions is over. Hashtag United did not win the Fat Championship. We did win a regional which I was really happy with, Tass winning in Paris obviously, and a few of the boys did really well. You know, qualification wise, we were quality, and the boys qualified for almost everything they could qualify for. We've still got FIWC coming up, I'm confident for that as well, because we've got Tass, we've got Boras and Harry all qualified for regionals. But it's not just about winning, obviously we want to win, but it's about having the right attitude, and being the right kind of team, and I think we're on, on track to being the esports team I want us to be. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and if you've enjoyed this series of vlogs in general, I mean, I've taken you all around the world with me, Sydney, Vancouver, loads of places in Europe, up, you know all over the place it's been crazy guys and uh, subscribe for more we'll be back soon until next time don't go changing don't forget to hashtag it <laughs>